Hey, hey, I'm Victoria Geary here for another Football Guys short for the upcoming 2022 fantasy season. It is so good to be back. Make sure you're checking out all of our off-season content over at footballguys.com, of course, at youtube.com slash footballguys as well. That has all of our daily shorts coming out, along with every awesome show Football Guys has to offer throughout the week. Today, I'm going to be focusing on running back values. Last week, I looked at some tight end values for the upcoming season. Now, we'll look at running back values for the upcoming redraft and best ball season. So these are guys you can get outside of the first two rounds in redraft or best ball that have the potential to return running back one value for us. So let's get into it. First up is a guy who finished fifth in PPR scoring formats last year, third Overall in points per game, even after missing the last few weeks of the fantasy season, this player racked up 812 total yards on the ground on 180 carries, four and a half yards per attempt on the ground, eight touchdowns there as well. On top of that, he turned 84 targets in the receiving game into 69 receptions. Nice. 454 yards and two touchdowns through the air, total of 10 touchdowns throughout the season. And yet this player's current underdog best ball ADP is RB25. Also, fantasyfootballcalculator.com shows his current PPR ADP at the end of the fourth round at pick 4.11. I am talking about Mr. Leonard Fournette. How his current ADP is this low, the world may never understand. Now, I do expect that to creep up little by little as we get closer to redraft season, but he'll still be a fantastic value to be had when our drafts begin. I know we're all wishing the summer away, just waiting for football to get here, but it'll be here for, before we know it. So Fournette just signed a three-year extension with the Bucks, and the team shipped off one of his backfield competitors in none other than Ronald Jones, Rojo, beloved by a very niche part of the fantasy community. He is now with the Kansas City Chiefs, so Fournette has that backfield to himself, locked into a three-down role outside of Giovanni Bernard, who the Bucks also re-signed. He's going to, of course, take some passes away from Lenny, but nothing to worry us. We also know Mr. Tom Brady himself. He pulled the old switcheroo. He said, JK, LOL, I'm not retiring. I'm going to live forever eating plants and beans, and there's nothing any of you can do to stop me. So this bodes well for Fournette with Brady returning, of course. His teammate, wide receiver Chris Godwin as well, was just quoted saying that he doesn't have a timetable on his return from his ACL injury, which he suffered very late last season, week 15. So Fournette could see more looks in the passing game early in the season. We know how important it is to get a good start for our fantasy win columns in those first few weeks of our season. So get this guy, get Fournette as an RB2, RB3 value and take him all the way to the championship game. He still has a lot left in the tank at 27 years old. Okay, I'm going to talk about one more player here I want to hit on quickly. He's not nearly as much of a value as Fournette. This is someone who has always had the potential to return RB1 value. But I think he's being severely overlooked right now due to some of these offseason changes on his team. Now, this player finished at RB9 overall, which was a little disappointing relative to his 2021 ADP. He was going top five in most cases, but still ended the season with 799 yards on the ground, 391 through the air, 10 total touchdowns. Now, his current underdog best ball ADP is at RB15 and fantasy football calculator has him right around pick 3.02. So the beginning of the third round, which is likely the cheapest he's been in the past few years. So I, of course, I'm talking about Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones has never really been undervalued for the last couple of years, but here's why I think he might be slightly going into this season. Recency bias. We're all guilty of recency bias. We're remembering Mr. Thick with two C's himself, A.J. Dillon. Thick thighs, let's go. Taking a good amount of work from Aaron Jones last season. A lot of that being goal line work. He had seven touchdowns himself. But superstar wide receiver Devonta Adams has left the building. He recently signed with the Raiders. So now Hayden Winks here, he put out a tweet with, with the splits with Aaron Jones when he was not playing with Adams on the field. He averaged about 15 points per game in PPR formats with Devontae Adams, 23 points per game without him, about two more targets per game and 31 more receiving yards per game, along with a better touchdown right here, as you can see. So we know Aaron Jones is an elite pass catcher out of the backfield. 
So he might turn into Mr. Necessary, seeing as the wide receiver talent of the Packers has greatly diminished with the loss of Adams in free agency. This leaves Al Lazard, maybe a little bit of Randall Cobb, and tight end Robert Tunyon if he's recovered from his ACL injury by the start of the season. Sure, they'll, they'll add to their wide receiver room. Aaron Rodgers is like, hopefully, right? So rookie wide receivers, though, they take that time to gain their footing in their first season in the league. And especially when Rodgers has had a history of wanting to build that trust with a player before throwing to them at a high clip, that leaves Aaron Jones as a fantastic option in the receiving game. So he might turn into Mr. Necessary and see a boatload of targets out of the backfield, leaving him as a fantastic ad in PPR leagues for this upcoming season. Of course, his teammate AJ Dillon is going to provide a high value as well. He's going much, much, much later in later rounds. So last week I discussed three tight end sleepers you need to draft. This week I'm talking about running back values, continuing that trend, but make sure you check out our own Chris Allen's videos, his football guy shorts for the last couple of weeks. He's discussing overvalued players at different positions. Most recently, he discussed wide receivers that are over, overvalued for the upcoming season. He's crushing those shorts. Make sure to check those out. Also, check out all of our other fantastic content over at footballguys.com and youtube.com slash footballguys. Thank you so much for checking out another short. Catch you all next week. 